गुड मॉर्निंग डियर इन क्लास नाइन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर डेट इज इंडिया साइज एंड लोकेशन यू नो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फोर ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट डेट इज इंडिया साइज लोकेशन एंड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्टैंडर्ड मेरिडेन ऑफ एनी नेशन सो इंडिया साइज लोकेशन and standard meridian these are the three points we will try to cover up all three topic in today's lecture so dear before starting this lecture first i want to discuss what is the latitude and what are longitude so you know we will such type of lines on globe vertical lines are considered as a longitude These are longitudes and horizontal lines or circles we can say which are running from east to west. These are considered latitudes. So yesterday we have discussed about latitude and longitude. So you know latitude and longitude value like this. You know. It is the main value in degree. This is considered as a degree, and sub unit of degree consider minute, and sub degree of minute consider as a second. Okay, due to the size of earth, you know, like a circle is divided into 90 degree angle. As if our earth is having 360 degree angle, and That's why there are the 360 <coughs> longitude. There are 360 longitude, and when we write the latitude and longitude side, so we write like this: 97 degree. It is sine of degree. 25 minute. It is the sine of minute. Or sub unit is not required, but if you want to write, it will be in second. so like in 97 it is the degree and it is the minute so you know from the circle that is the 97 degree are countries located so let's start from beginning you know globe what is the globe you are studied in class 6 globe is the like a shape of earth it is the model like a shape of earth that is considered as a globe so globe are having the in this shape and in that shape that is considered eastern hemisphere hemisphere is word you also common or familiar with this word and mostly it used in your main subject that is considered eastern hemisphere back side is considered western hemisphere 0 to 180 longitude is eastern hemisphere and back side 181 to 360 longitude is western hemisphere and 0 degree is a latitude not a longitude 0 degree is a latitude which divide all earth into two equal part so upper part is considered northern hemisphere and bottom part is considered some southern hemisphere so there you know that is 0 degree above in northern hemisphere and 0 degree below that is southern hemisphere so this word will utilize we we'll use later on india is located in northern or southern hemisphere so this is the part of hemisphere all is considered eastern hemisphere back side is considered western hemisphere 0 degree above that is considered northern hemisphere and 0 degree below is considered southern hemisphere so if any country location in northern latitudes it will be located in northern hemisphere if any one country location in southern latitude value like a 23 southern latitude it will be considered it is located in southern hemisphere so you will find out 
when i will write the latitude and longitude location of our country extension of our country we will find out it is located in which hemisphere okay dear sub details is not given in your book but for our concept it is basic concept we must be know about that what are latitude what are longitude so dear such vertical line is considered longitude these are 180 in stern 180 at the back side as it 90 latitudes in northern side 90 in southern side and total number of latitude are 180 okay so dear you know distance between two latitude will be maximum on the equator it will be maximum on equator and because on the northern pole there is the less area of our located that's why it is these are latitudes are close at northern and southern poles and longitude also okay and what are the importance of latitudes you know moment of sunlight will be falls on different latitudes there will be changes in weather and climate okay so first discuss moment of the sunlight on different latitudes see the moment of sunlight you know let's start from march month okay you know direct rays of sun rays on equator it will be on 21st march 21st march direct rays of sun falls on equator it means what happens on the earth when direct rays falls on equator it means all earth receive equal duration of day and night it will be considered equinox equinox this word you are studied in class 6 chapter 2 latitude and longitude when direct rays falls on equator it will be equinox all earth receive equal duration of day and night let on after 3 month okay for simple calculation at the 3 month april may june 21st june direct rays on tropic of cancer tropic of cancer is a latitude which divide india approximately into two equal part we'll discuss later and it is passes from our country direct rays falls on the tropic of cancer 21st june it means what what happens on earth or we can say in northern hemisphere how to we receive duration of day and night so during that day 21st june duration of day will be longer and night will be short and just reverse may be happen in southern hemisphere just reverse may be happen in southern hemisphere duration of day will be short and night will be duration will be longer in southern hemisphere so when direct rays on tropic of cancer and this latitude is considered tropic of cancer and value is 23 and half degree okay why is considered the main latitude because it is last latitude in northern hemisphere which received direct rays of sun after that latitude rest of latitude receive vertical rays of sun okay sorry not a vertical slanting rays of sun and again at the three month in june july august september again 23 september direct rays of sun on again equator 23rd september direct rays of sun again equator it means what happens same process same happened equinox equal duration of day and night and at the three month in september october november is 22nd december direct rays will be falls on the 
Tropic of Capricorn. This latitude is considered Tropic of Capricorn, which passes from Australia. And in this, what happens in the southern hemisphere? It receives the summer, and duration of day will be longer, and night will be short. And just reverse happen in India. So, have you seen during the winter month? You know, day is short and night will be longer in our country. So, this is the moment of sunlight. And due to that, changes in weather, changes in duration of day and night. That's why you know what are the importance of latitude. These are the importance of latitude. And due to the moment of sun, you know. Different hemisphere receive the different type of weather, climatic condition due to that moment only. You know, dear, these lines are considered longitude. You know, I want to inform you. These are the imaginary lines. These are not actual lines on the Earth's surface. These are the imaginary lines. Latitude and longitude are just imaginary lines. You know, these are considered as a longitude, and you know, sunrise from the east, the first night rays of sun, sun uh, rays comes on the that latitude, longitude, later on that, later on that, later on that, or like this. Okay, then you know, from one longitude to another longitude, what will be time taken by sunlight? It will be four minutes, and how it is possible? Why four minutes? Why not the five or six minutes? See the, you know, to complete one rotation, there are two types of moment of work. One is the rotation, another one is revolution. You know, rotation on their axis, that is considered rotation. And to complete one spin, one rotation, it will take 23 hours, 55, 6 minutes and 47 seconds. But in round, it is considered 24 hours. So 24 hours, how many longitude passes in front of sun? 360. What will be time taken by one longitude? To find out, convert into the minute. Multiply by 60. Okay. And number of longitude will be same. To find out the one longitude value, divide by 360. Okay. So it will be 4 minute. And if you want to check it, if you want to cross check it, so you can multiply 4 by 360. It will be 1440. So we can say one longitude to another longitude, what will be time taken by sunlight, it will be 4 minute. Okay. That's why to complete the one rotation, it will be 24 hours. Okay, dear. Up next, what is the latitude and longitude size of our country? You know, dear, our country, India, is located in northern hemisphere. How we can say? Because, see the values. Okay, first latitude value of our country. You know, if any one country may be located in northern hemisphere, so we will calculate the latitude value from the bottom to top. If any one country may be located in southern hemisphere, it will be top to bottom. Size will be top to bottom like this. Suppose anyone like line located like this, and length is the one to five centimeter, we will calculate from here one to three like four five. So edge it. We calculate India's latitude side from the bottom part. That value is the 8 degree 4 minute. Another two. Last latitude which touch our top order. That value is 37 degree 6 minute in another. 37 degree 6 minute another. So you know this is northern side. So you know it means we can say our country is located in northern hemisphere. It correct? Okay, dear. So our country is located in the northern hemisphere. And what is the longitude size? Longitude size of our country is first longitude that value is 68 degree 7 minute 
is and last longitude value is 97 degree 25 minute is that is the value of extension of our country longitude extension of our country is 68 degree 7 minute to 97 degree 25 minute is longitude so we can say 69 70 71 80 82 84 till 90 longitude are passes from our country so remember one longitude value always will be in east or maybe in west not in northern or southern okay and latitude value jo hogi hamesha it will be in northern and southern we can say latitude value may be in north or may be in south okay kabhi bhi longitude value north and south mein nahi hogi because these are the vertical lines okay so such value may be in east or may be west so don't write many time what happens when a student may be write the answer so for latitude they may be write at a, like a east or west so it will be wrong answer don't use the such key term okay such word so these are the latitudes and longitudes size of our country next question how to find out the standard meridian our next is topic and last topic what is way to find out the standard meridian so first know about it what is the standard meridian standard meridian is a longitude which divide all nation into two equal part i am repeating again standard meridian is a longitude not a latitude it is the longitude which divide all nation into two equal part so you know what is the value of first longitude 68 degree 7 minute what is the value of last longitude 97 degree 25 minute okay so to find out the standard meridian it is the longitude which divide all nation into two equal part to find out the standard meridian you can subtract last longitude from the first longitude first means high longitude not a first high longitude you know our last or high longitude is 97 degree to find out that we are not taking minute we take only degrees okay so last longitude value is 97 and subtract from 97 subtract from uh, subtract 68 answer will be 29 okay answer will be 29 you know you all are in class 9 you are able to calculate it 29 longitude passes from our country we can say there are 29 longitude which passes from our country so to find out the standard meridian 29 divide by 2 it will be 14.5 ok to find out the standard meridian 14.5 we can add in 16 or it will be 82 and up what is the value east so our standard meridian value is 82 and half degree and I am giving another way to find out the standard meridian ok see the another simple formula to find out the standard meridian our first longitude value is 68 degree and last longitude value will be is 97 degree ok at the first and last longitude it will be 7, 7, 14, 15, 165. Okay. These are the total longitude value divided by 2. It will be 82 and half or we can say 82.5. This is the another way to find out the standard meridian. First and last longitude add both and divide by 2. 
वैल्यू आ जाएगी आपकी स्टैंडर्ड मेरिट है और यू नो लॉन्गिट्यूड ऑलवेज मे बी इन ईस्ट और मे बी इन वेस्ट तो आर कंट्रीज लॉन्गिट्यूड वैल्यू इज इन ईस्ट तो आर स्टैंडर्ड मेरिट इन वैल्यू इज एटी टू एंड हाफ and why we use this standard meridian we use this standard meridian to calculate the time to calculate the time we use this standard meridian because if we take any one longitude so time will be different that's why there will be no confusion inside nation we are taking standard meridian to calculate the time and from where we calculate the time from 0 degree longitude and 0 degree longitude passes from london and it is passes from the a lab that name is greenwich so this longitude also known by the greenwich longitude it is passes from greenwich laboratory okay dear so today we have discuss this topic this one is the what is latitude size of our country what is the size you know size of our country including the island also and see our country size including the island values also this size is 3.28 million square kilometer that is the size 3.28 million square kilometer border area and total area including the island size also include in that that is the our size and in others in detail 32 lakh 87263 square kilometer 32 lakh 87263 square kilometer this is the size of our country